This is Darshana Gauchan with your B2B Cambodia market update for July 11th, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index was down 2.1 points or 0.51% to 413.44. Total trade volume was down to 84,211 shares changing hands at a total trade value of 332.5 million Khmer real or roughly 80,900 US dollars. On the main board, only two stocks were up. Grand Twins International led the market for the third session in a row, up 1.85% or 60 real to 3,310 real per share. MJQ Education was also up 0.49% or 10 real to 2,050 real per share. On the downside, CamGSM saw the biggest price drop in its stock for the second day in a row, down 1.24% or 30 real to 2,390 real per share. Other stocks in a downward trend were the Phnom Penh Autonomous Port and the Sienegville Autonomous Port, which were down 0.48% and 0.17% respectively. Pestec Cambodia, Akleda Bank and Royal Group Phnom Penh SEZ remained flat. Meanwhile, on the growth board, DBD Engineering was down 0.48% or 10 real to 2,080 real per share, while JS Land remained flat at 3,640 real per share. CamGSM, despite seeing the largest drop in its stock price on this day, retook the crown from Grand Twins International as the highest traded stock, with 42,720 shares changing hands at a total value of 102.3 million real or 24,900 US dollars, equivalent to roughly 48.5% of total shares traded on July 11th. Akleda Bank recorded the second highest trade volume of the day with 19,104 shares traded at a value of 143.7 million real or around 35,000 US dollars, accounting for 21.7% of shares traded in the market. In other business news, Eurocham Cambodia and Swiss Contact released the results of its skills gap assessment survey conducted between February to April 2024, which has identified critical skills gaps and training priorities in five sectors in Cambodia construction, electrical, manufacturing, mechanics, and tourism and hospitality. Some of the findings from the survey include that 62% of companies in Cambodia have plans to increase their staff in 2024, yet 74% face challenges in finding qualified employees. While companies identify leadership, quality control, and project management as the top training priorities in Cambodia, nearly half are unaware of the existing training options available. Among those that did benefit from training options last year, 94% reported finding them valuable. The Khmer real to USD strengthened slightly to 4,110 real per US dollar, while the US dollar index was down to 104.96. Oil prices gained on Thursday as crude stocks fell after US refineries ramped up processing and as gasoline inventories eased, signaling stronger demand. Brent futures rose 62 cents or 0.73% to 85.70 US dollars a barrel. The Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries has also stuck to its forecast for its relatively strong growth in global oil demands in 2024 and next year, saying on Wednesday that resilient economic growth and air travel would support fuel use in the summer months. Gold prices, meanwhile, also firmed for a third consecutive session, with investors still awaiting U.S. inflation data due later in the day for further insights on the U.S. Federal Reserve's interest rate path. Spot gold gained 0.5% to 2,381.83 U.S. dollars per ounce. U.S. gold futures rose 0.3% to 2,385.50 U.S. dollars. U.S. stock futures were marginally lower on Thursday after both the S&P 500 and Nasdaq Composite closed at a new all-time high. Futures tied to the broad market index slipped less than 0.1%, as did Nasdaq 100 futures. Dow Jones Industrial Average futures lost 33 points, or 0.08%. This was Darshana Gauchen with your B2B Cambodia Market Update for July 11th.